Hey everybody, I wanted to show you something that I just found out and I'm pretty disappointed in this uh, Pelpro stove. So uh, I'm gonna show you what it is right here. So let's take a look. So as you can see right here, this is the latch and this actually holds the door closed and it latches right to the inside and you, you close it and you just shut it. Now, if you notice something is missing, so this is the little bar on the inside that locks it. Now, this is a two-piece bar, as you can see in there, two-piece. Well, the problem that I had is when I went to lock it, this little bitty, it's hard to see, little bitty threaded part of this. So it goes from this quarter inch diameter to this little bitty number 10 uh, threaded piece here. And I don't understand why, you know, they would, you know, make that smaller and it goes in there because it sheared right off and this is a brand new pellet stove so I'm pretty disappointed so I'm pretty disappointed in that right now but you know I, I can't I can't leave it I don't have time to order another part because I've got to heat my house so I have to come up with a way to do this and how I'm gonna do it I'm not gonna put the same thing I'm not gonna order this this little part we're gonna to have to do something a lot better so I've got this bolt here this is a quarter inch by 20 uh, threaded bolt it fits right in through here just fine. I'm gonna drill and I'm gonna tap this out. So I've actually already drilled it. So let's go ahead and start tapping this. One of the most important tools that you need to have is a tap and die set. Don't get just a one or two off self drilling style. Get the full uh, tap and die set. You will not regret it. You will use this time and time again over the years and anything that you do. And you gotta take your time with it as well. Rock it back and forth. Get those shards out of there. Make sure you're clearing the threads out. Okay, it's coming through now. Okay, we're all the way through. You don't stop there, you just keep going. Okay, look at all the shards coming out. That's good. So now let's test the bolt. Make sure we clean this off any burrs. The bolt goes in perfect, look at that. So that's nice and tight. Let's go ahead and test it out here. Okay, look at that. Now that's tight. That's in there, it's not going anywhere. Let's take it out and take a look at it. Still tight, no problems. Push it back in. Tight, it's locked in. Come out, it's not loose. Now you really need this to have a really tight seal because this is your fire door and this is your fire gasket here. That's what keeps all the smoke and the fire inside there. So you want that really tight seal. So you push it in and it locks in and you're good to go. Now, the one thing that you wanna consider whenever you're looking at this type of repair, when you find a flaw in the design for a particular unit, you find a weak spot, you wanna make it strong. You wanna make it strong enough that you're not gonna to have to worry about it anymore. So that's what I wanna do here. I didn't have time to order the part, but I saw the flaw in it. I wanted to make it better and I had the abilities to do it. So that's what I did. Now, if I didn't have a bolt and I didn't have that way of doing it, I would have actually just welded it together. And that way I would have never had to worry about it again either. But at least this way I can replace the bolt. I can still service it a little bit better than what I would. So I hope that this helped somebody out. If it did, uh, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, we'll see you in the next one.